Welcome to this tutorial on using the 0.96 inches I2C OLED display module with Arduino Nano. In this tutorial, we will learn how to connect the OLED display to the Arduino Nano, upload a sample code to showcase its display capabilities, and then learn to customize the display with simple text using the I2C communication protocol. Let's get started. Before we begin, make sure you have the necessary components, an Arduino Nano, the 0.96 inches I2C OLED display module, a breadboard, and some jumper wires. OLED displays come in multiple sizes and pixel colors. In this tutorial, we will use an OLED display with a resolution of 128 by 64 pixels in white color, allowing us to display text, graphics, and even small animations. We'll be using the Arduino Nano to control the OLED display. It's a compact and versatile microcontroller board, perfect for this project. Let's start by connecting the OLED display to the Arduino Nano. Make the following connections, OLED VCC to Arduino 5 volts, OLED ground to Arduino ground, OLED SDA to Arduino A4, and OLED SCL to Arduino A5. Now, let's move to the programming part. Open the Arduino IDE and install the required libraries for the OLED display. Go to Sketch, then include Library, and select Manage Libraries. In the Library Manager, Search for Adafruit underscore SSD 1306, and click Install to install the library. Similarly, search for Adafruit underscore GFX and install it as well. If you are new to the world of Arduino Nano, we recommend watching our beginner's tutorial first. It will help lay the foundation of using this amazing microcontroller. The link is provided in the description below. Now, let's start by using an example code from the library. On the IDE, go to File, Examples and search for Adafruit SSD 1306, then SSD 1306 underscore 128 by 64 underscore I2C to open the sample code. Depending on the model of your microcontroller and OLED display, you may need to make minor changes to the code. In this case, we will replace the OLED reset pin to 4 and change the screen address to 0 by 3C. That's it, and now let's upload the code to see the capabilities of this amazing small display. You can see this small but powerful display module is capable of displaying multiple texts, graphics, and even basic animations, all customizable to your likings. Use this to give a captivating visual effect to your Arduino projects. Now, let's modify this code to display a custom message on the screen. We start by including the necessary libraries for I2C communication and graphics. Next. We define the screen width and height of the OLED display. We then initialize the OLED display in the setup function and check if it's working correctly. After that, we clear the display buffer, set the text size and color to white. The code then displays the text Hello OLED. At position, 00, on the OLED screen. Finally, the content is displayed on the OLED display using display. .display. Now that we have our code ready, let's upload it to the Arduino Nano and see the results. The code is uploaded, and the Arduino Nano is now controlling the OLED display. As you can see, the OLED display is now showing the text Hello OLED. As we programmed it, you can customize the code to display other texts, graphics, or even create small animations. The possibilities are endless. With this setup, you can easily integrate the OLED display into your Arduino projects and add visual feedback to your designs. As always, you can find the necessary code and libraries in the description below this video. That's it for this tutorial. We hope you enjoyed learning about the 0.96 inches I2C OLED display module with Arduino Nano. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting tutorials and projects. Happy tinkering!